Yeah, I believe this is part 5A. I was doing some restoration today, as well as doing a couple of modifications on the tinker stool. And there's an old uh, tool there I dug out. Really nice one. Beautiful handle. I'm going to clean that up best as I can. Um, I believe that the metal bar was slightly bent. And there's a couple of old uh, vices, vice clamps. Clean those up. Those are pretty nice. Other restoration. These old screwdrivers. There's a couple of uh, couple of picks. There's my little light duty one. This used to be my dad's old. Uh, it was an old small flathead. And years of use. It tip is just nothing so I just turned it into a pick and had the angle grinder out today so came up with this little scraping tool out of an old paint can key and this old railway spike I don't know whose video it is on YouTube but this was a really cool idea because um, it's a great little hammer I've got the point to a nice little like a stone chisel type uh, tool so any you know any aggressive work that'll be a really cool tool just for fun I uh, spray paint the top with copper copper tools huh this was uh, a little inspiration from the whatever brothers. There's a few rocks I picked up here and there. They'll end up in my uh, in my rock garden outside. The selfie stick holder was a little wider than, than the actual handle, so to take care of that problem, it was very easy. Just use a thin piece of cardboard, or you can you know double, quadruple up some paper and just roll it in there, and that'll solve that. There's the little platform I put on there today. I don't know what that belongs to. It was something I found uh, along the roadside somewhere. So that's a nice little uh, tool type holder. And I'm working on making this extension for the back for that uh, for the notebook holder. And I came up with this. That's an old CD uh, case, old hard drive case, I believe. PC, uh, yeah, PC. And just have some temporary bolts and stuff in there. I need to get some better ones, but it's all I had right now. So it's drying still, and I need to bend down the hammer down the sides. Or maybe I won't. I'm not quite sure yet. Either that, or I have to put some sort of an insert. I'll figure something out. And, uh, on this side today we built this little arm, this little tray. Um, these are all just from the little leftover uh, little wood bits. Some pieces, yellow, yellow pieces of sumac. That one little piece of cedar. Some little parts. Uh, holder, customized little can there. And this arm was a maple branch, which is really cool. Holds uh, some cordage, electrical tape, a uh, keychain hook on the top. Um, 
Yeah, and the branch was just made for the perfect piece. You know, I carved out what I could. I don't have a proper gouge, but it turned out pretty cool. And this, of course, it rotates to the front. Rotates to the back, like that. So yeah, Here's a quick little update, and uh, come back with part B, five B.